Hi, I'm Pete Lyman. We're here at Infrasonic Mastering, and you're watching Burl TV. My first purchase from Burl was the DAC. And since I put that in my rack, I, I don't think I've done a project without it. So I've had it about a little over a year and a half now. Everything that I've mastered here has been, has been done with the Burl. I've been, I couldn't be happier. You know, the, the Burl D, D to A is just a well-balanced converter. I mean, obviously for me, the, the biggest the biggest thing I noticed initially was the low end just seemed more focused and tighter than other converters I'd heard, but it's such an open sounding converter. And you know, when you start shooting out high end converters, sometimes the difference is really becomes kind of hard to hear. But the Burl does something that the other converters that I I like as well don't do and it just it just has a really musical sound. It sounds like I want music to sound. We have two vinyl A's here at Infrasonic. The one I'm sitting in front of right now is a 1956 Neumann AM32B. It's uh, been highly modified and it continues to be. We're getting ready to do some more modifications on it next week. New pitch computer, a few other things, and this is being fed directly from, the, from a B2 DAC. We also have a 1978 Scully LS76. It's a uh, pretty interesting lathe. There are only nine of them made. It's sort of the Scully's, Scully's answer to the VMS-80 that Neumann made, which was a, the last lathe made, a really advanced lathe. So it's the exact opposite of this lathe. The 1956 technology that, surprisingly, Neumann changed very little uh, on the main part of these lathes, even up until the late 70s. So it just goes to show you how well they engineered these things. It's a pretty remarkable piece of machinery and still, still cutting great records. Stylistically, you know, my mastering clients are all over the board. Everything from Jason Isbell and Sturgill Simpson to Red Fang and Courtney Love. Just, you know, do a lot of pop music as well. So we're all over the board and the burls just seem to fit in great with everything I'm doing. I have, a, I have a setup in my rig that allows me to change to my previous converter pretty easily. And I, when I initially got the B2, I set it up so that I could do that, figuring, oh, maybe some types of music I'll want to go back to my old converter. And I haven't done that at all. So still set up so I can AB, AB between them, but I, I, it's always the burl right now. Yeah, we use the D-Day for all of our vinyl mastering, but I also use it as my main D-Day to feed my mastering console for uh, all of our audio mastering. Here at Infrasonic, we're currently using Burl B2 DACs in all of our studios, and uh, as well as the A to Ds, and we have a mothership that floats around too. We, the first time we heard the Burl, um, Kind of hard to put it into words. We compared it against some of the other converters we were using and against some converters that we brought in just just kind of shoot out and it was really night and day for us. And the, the biggest surprise was how well that translates to vinyl from a digital source. So we were using a, another converter for years that I always thought sounded fine and I remember the first day we got the burls in brought it in, set it up, and we started doing test cuts on our lathe. And my assistant immediately, who was still pretty green at the time, immediately noticed the difference. And the first thing he could hear was how focused the low end was, which is a big thing for vinyl, you know? So we're, we're just loving it here. It's, it, it makes my job easier. It's easy, easier to cut records with a great converter. Yeah, the B2 ABC is just a whole separate beast. It's not really just a converter, it's just a nice piece of analog gear. 
I mean, a lot of people have talked about the sound, and the sound to me is, it really, really depends on how you use the converter. If you want it to sound like a big, crazy, saturated tape machine, you can hit it really hard, turn the output down, and it just, you get a really great saturated sound. But if you want a super clean sound, you can get that too. And that's, that's where it really excels. I mean, the, the, you know, the transformer balancing sounds amazing, but it sounds good, hit hard, or nice and clean. I've used it on jazz and a lot of, you know, delicate open music that I don't necessarily want any added color. And it does that really well. So be it, I'm lost and I can't fighting into something that I don't want to be. Is this life now, forever? Or will my truth and weary spirit ever be set free? Oh, audio.